What is up guys and welcome back to the channel and we are now past the holiday season and with the holiday season there tends to be a lot of brand new wheel users which is pretty cool and uh, I just want to say welcome to the family guys there's a lot to learn and uh, a lot to you know grasp with moving from controller to wheel especially with car x there's a lot of key important things that you need to learn and um just get well rounded with in order to have a good experience especially when it comes to using no assist but before we do anything with a tune or wheel adjustments or anything like that there's a lot of things in the menus that you need to calibrate correctly with your wheel so before anything if you're on pc make sure your drivers are updated first and working and then we can jump into this so the first thing we're going to do is click on your wheel and go up to left where it says calibration once you click calibration you're going to see this range button on the left you can click it and what you're going to do is rotate your wheel all the way to reads a thousand degrees one way and then a thousand degrees the other this is going to put your wheel one to one with the steering in the game now once you are done with that you don't really need to touch anything else in there but if you want to calibrate like your handbrake or anything like that if it's a standalone unit you're just going to go in there and click it by itself don't map anything else and you're going to do the same thing so you're going to click range what i like to do is hold the handbrake a little bit beforehand then pull it and then click range again as you can see here if you put it all the way back it's going to do the thousand degrees which I don't want because I have a little bit of a dead zone play. So I pulled it first, get it to its maximum pull and then click range and save it. Um, same thing, if you have a standalone shifter, make sure nothing else is mapped and then go into your gears and put everything into gear. Don't worry about mapping a neutral because it knows where a neutral is in the game and you're just gonna do the same thing. So if every single gear there just select it there's not going to be anything that needs to be actually calibrated you just need to map that input so once that is done another big thing that can help with the game is going in here and making sure your pedals are calibrated correctly so logitech users uh, sometimes you guys have a lot of little dead zone play what you're going to do is the same thing you're going to click range and then hit the throttle all the way till you get to a thousand degrees and do the same thing for clutch and your brake pedal all right guys and that will completely calibrate your whole wheel pedal shifter and handbrake options another good feature to look for is how to reset your car now this just doesn't uh, pertain to car x it's a very good thing to go and do on a saddle as well so make sure you have a really quick action to resetting your vehicle for me i use my right uh, paddle because I have a handbrake and a shifter so I don't need to use it for anything else so I have my right paddle as my reset button now there is two ways to play on the wheel one is assisted and one is not uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do assisted really quickly so you're going to change your steering input to steering wheel then bring down your wheel rotation to about 180 to 270 then you're going to drop your feedback to about 10 and turn on wheel as controller from there, you're going to move the prediction and stabilization all the way up. And that's going to turn on your assist. Now, for my wheel settings, everything is down at zero. Uh, you don't need uh, post-processing as well. But once you drive here, you, you're you going to see that the steering is going to do everything itself. So as the car kicks out, you can see that the car is already turning and steering. This is like mainly for people who have wheels that don't have 900 degrees or force feedback and it just helps them play the game and feel a little bit more comfortable with driving in the game against you know controller users and other wheel users kind of levels the playing field for everybody there and it's still a fun way to play the game granted it's not the most simulated way obviously because you don't turn into a drift you counter steer out of it so um you know take this with a grain of salt but guys who are using this uh i hope this helps you to figure out how to do this because in the previous version of the game it was just one little slider on and off 
but now it's a whole new system where you can actually adjust the assist. Now from there, we're gonna go back into a full sim mode. So we're gonna bring the steering wheel and go up to 900, force feedback up to 75. We're gonna change our prediction to two and stabilization to six. And then at inertia on the bottom, if you have any uh, like bumps or any like weird little twitches in the wheel, bring that down to zero. Also make sure wheel as controller is off. And as you can see here, we are back to full 900 degrees and counter steering like we should be with no assist. Big thing to like realize or recognize in the game is on our telemetry at the bottom of the screen, you see there's a blue bar for our steering input. When it's on assist, the little white line does not match up with the blue bar. That's gonna show that you have assist on. When assist is off, the blue and white line move together. And uh, I hope that helps you guys understand how to calibrate your wheels and set it up for the brand new update. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.